You know, we love locally owned and operated businesses here on the show, and uh, this one in Coal Valley is a perfect example. Anita Hatalski is here from uh, Purple Violet Shop. It's her place. She opened in 2020, right in the middle of all the mess, but they let you open because you have a greenhouse. Right. So it's because of COVID, things were shut down in Illinois. We weren't sure we would be able able to open our business mm -hmm. so then the governor allowed things to open on the first of may and we opened our business oh, you, then. Did. Yes. you did and because of the greenhouse and so god bless illinois for yeah. sure <laughs> and i want to of course you're a florist i'm a florist and um and what else do you consider yourself to be so we have a gift shop in our in our shop that features a lot of local artists. So we have artwork, we have people who make soaps and bath products, and we have jams and jellies, and we have macrame plant hangers, oh and we goodness. have a lot of things that are made by local people here in the Quad Cities. We have photographers, we have uh, specialized in African violets that you will not find in the grocery stores. These are heirloom African violets that your grandmother probably had wow. and we are attached with the Quad City African Violet Society and we are very happy to show the showcase and sell their items. Well, as we look at these pictures, native plants available here. I know you're, you're, you're big on that too, the native plants as well, like grasses and stuff or what? So when we started the garden center two years ago, we specialized we have 54 different pollinator plants that so will attract butterflies or bees or hummingbirds to your wow. garden. It's very good for the economy, for the environment, and we have the largest selection in the Quad Cities. We have people who will plan your garden for you. If you come and you tell them that, that you have uh, 10 by 10 space, they will say, okay, do you have sun? Do you have shade? Here's what kind of plants. Here's how we suggest that you do oh, it. That's neat. And that's all for free. Well, good for you. Yeah, and so where did Purple Violet come from? The name of your shop, Purple Violet Shop. Well, when I was a younger woman, I read the poem, when I am an old woman, I sure wear purple with a red hat. <laughs> and so now that I'm an old woman, I... <laughs> no, wait a minute. Yes, I named my shop Purple. You're not an old woman because you're not wearing your red hat or oh, your, pur not or your purple. Oh, not my yet. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to show us, um, a lot of us have flowers outside, mm -hmm. and we keep them outside. We just look out the window at them, but you're going to show us how to arrange them. If you want to bring them in, and you brought a coffee cup. Right. Well, one of the things is it's great to garden, but then once you garden, lots of people don't bring their flowers in. So I just want to show you real easy how to put something in a coffee mug. And so this is a coffee mug. You're going to use some floral foam that you get at any store or at the floor shop. And you soak that in water first. Yep. You tape it in so it's not going to sh it's not going to shift on you. Then you choose some large flowers, and now we're going to use yellow roses today. And usually, it's best to use three of the larger flowers. Thanks. I just want to cover just, up his face. There yeah. we go. Okay. And you just stick them in, and you don't want to the arrangement to be larger than what the cup is. So okay, about so, one size. So she'll be like, it, we're, we, have a, we have like we have a size like this, which is very long. Right. And so you would cut it. So what I do is I set it up next to the table and I see about how far it is. And then oh, you just cut it that way. Measuring from the edge of the table. Right, from the edge of the table. And then you just stick it in. Okay. And there's not a wrong way that you can do this. This particular one is three is a one-sided. So you just keep sticking the flowers in until it looks pretty to you. Mm -hmm. And then when you're all finished, you sit it on your kitchen table and you enjoy it. Well, I know you really believe in bringing the flowers in because, I mean, what's the point of having your, all your flowers outside if you're never going to look at any of them indoors? Well, I've been a lifelong gardener, and one year I realized that I never bring my flowers inside. And I thought, that's just not right. There's something not right about that. It's nice to have them outside, but I spend a lot of time indoors as well. So I started bringing them inside, okay. and I thought that it was nice for people who have gardens to just know that it's not difficult to do this. You just start cutting and putting them in, and pretty soon you have something that looks real pretty. You do, and I love the yellow. The yellow so cheerful. Uh, so, okay, the market. Let's take a look at the market, you guys, and uh, what, what that is all about. So my boyfriend had a produce market here at this business before I opened my flower shop, and we decided that it was something that our community liked a lot. So we provide fresh watermelons that we get from Muscatine, Iowa, and we have sweet corn and tomatoes and those kind of things. And now this year, hey. tomorrow, we're opening an indoor market where we will be selling uh, lettuce and carrots and tomatoes and cucumbers all year round because we do you. not have a grocery store in Coal Valley and so we want our 
friends and our neighbors to have some place where they can go and get something quickly. Well, Adia, you are a multi-use provider there in Coal Valley. So really a small town needs that. I think that me must mean a lot to folks. It does, and we have a lot of people who just look forward to having the mm -hmm. sweet corn season and coming out and saying hi and getting their corn and going home for their barbecue. So you're a greenhouse and a nursery and a, and a, a flower shop as well, like if I need flowers for an occasion. Right. We send flowers all over the world okay. and we deliver to the Illinois Quad Cities. Okay. All right. Great. Well, this is called a Purple, a fl a purple Violet Shop and it's it's from that cute little poem that you uh, that you recited for us, Anita. And uh, it's in Coal Valley, Illinois, right there on Route 6. And you've been there for over two years now. Right. Good for you. You opened in probably the toughest time for a business to ever open. Right in COVID. Yes. Right. In COVID in Illinois. And yes. Now, and now here you are. Going strong. Well, that shows you're doing something right. Thank you. A lot right. Anita, it's good to have you here today. A uh, happy summer to you. Thank you. Happy Same 4th of you. July coming All right. up. All right. Thanks All right. for having All me. Thank you. Good seeing you. All right.